on demand grocery delivery services allow customers to order anything and deliver it to their doorstep according to the nielsen report 25% of the population is buying groceries online the on demand market caters to more than 24 million people and is worth 56 billion us dollars out of which the grocery industry is 4.6 billion The growth of on-demand grocery platforms have replaced the brick and mortar stores for filling users' daily needs. If you own a grocery store, it's time for you to take it online. In this video, you will see the features and functions of a very smart admin dashboard for grocery delivery. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. In this dashboard, as you can see, you have the number of users that have been onboarded, the total number of stores that have been increased in particular day, and then you have certain other items like new reviews today new sub categories that have been added and so on on the right hand side you have the heat map in this a particular area will be highlighted in red in color from which maximum number of orders are being received so that the admin can keep a track which particular areas are heat now you can see the type of the categories which are being sold at the most and their particular revenue On the right hand side you have the orders in which you can see instant details like order number order type distance payment status and the price then you have the bifurcation between cash versus the online revenue and that will be then the last month increase or the decrease then you have the monthly bifurcation between the users drivers and the orders next section we have the user section in which you would be able to see the list of your users You can toggle between different views. You can import or export your users as well, and you can see how much a customer has spent on your platform, how many number of orders or tasks they have completed, and the current scenario of their completed tasks or the ongoing or the cancelled ones. Now we have the order section in which you will be able to see all the incoming orders that have been received. The completed one will be marked as green, and the cancelled one as red, and the ongoing ones as grey. If you click on the customer details you will be able to see thorough details about the product which have been ordered by the end customer and what sort of delivery was there the packaging charge if it was there the total amount and the billed amount Now we have the merchant types by this hierarchy you can add all of your merchants and you can link the products to the merchant types so accordingly you can add or edit the merchant type you have the packaging charges service charges and then if that is a brand or not now we have the option to add the categories and the sub categories and again you have the option to import or export them as well then you have the brand management system in which if you are selling a particular brand on your platform you can add a brand and the products which will be linked to this brand will be highlighted as branded products on your customer facing applications and website now here are the merchants which have been onboarded to your platform they can add their own products through their merchant dashboard or you can also do them if you go to merchant products you can see that they have added these much of products and the variants that they have added you can edit or view the details and the description the images and the variants that have been added now you can manage their inventory as well so what sort of quantity you have the loyalty points which will be given for this particular product maximum purchase limit and so on Now we have the vehicle types these vehicle types will be linked directly to the merchants which I'll cover up in the driver dashboard Now we have the option for the coupons under the coupons you will be entitled to apply various amount of coupons in which you can select the coupon title coupon code discount type whether it is flat or percentage per day limit use limit and the start and the end date description and you can select the variants and the merchants accordingly now we have the deals in this the basic difference between the deals and coupons is coupons are pre applied through the code whereas in deals there would be a banner created on your own customer facing application so that the customer will be able to see a deal and all the products that have been linked to this deal will be shown under the deal section 
Now again, you can select the discount type, whether it is flat or percentage, then the description, start and the end date. And then you can select the products and you can click on update automatically, the deal would be applied. Now we have the notification se section in which you can send the broadcast notification. You can send it, hi, we are running summer discount. And you can apply the code summer 20 automatically. You can send this to all the users or all the merchants according to your wish. So once you click on send the notification, you would be able to send these kind of push notification to the end customer so that they can order accordingly and they would be aware that which particular uh, discounted items have these offers. And if I click on the history, you will be able to see which users have been clicked on this particular discount type and the broadcast notification. These are the logs which we have provided. So now you have the option to manage sub admin as well. So in your team, if you have some managers, so you can assign their roles and responsibilities accordingly, whether they have the permission to dashboard, whether they have the option to view the users or to edit them as well. And accordingly, you can manage their permissions. Now we have the customer support. In this, you can add the reasons like which by which the customer will be reaching out to you that the order was not delivered or any other reason that you can add and all the logs which the customer will be placing in terms of customer support the admin will be able to see them and resolve them accordingly now we have the cms pages in this you can add the terms and conditions of your own company and these will be reflected directly on the customer facing applications and you can add customer privacy policy, policy, merchant privacy policy, driver privacy policy, about us, data deletion and so on. And at the end, you can add the FAQ section as well. You can add a question and then you can find their answers. And from here, you will be able to see which particular customer has toggled to which FAQ. Now we have the settings. In project details, you'll be able to see the app name, admin URL, the currency, phone number, address, and email, a auto cancellation time, what would be the value of the loyalty point. So one loyalty point will be valuing at 10 rupees, whichever app currency you have set up. And then the minimum loyalty points to redeem per user. Then we have the website URLs. You can enter your Facebook, Instagram, and social networking IDs directly, which will be shown automatically on the customer facing application and website. Now you have the Google APIs as well for Google sign in, Facebook sign in and Google API key. Under the edit profile, you can change your first name, last name and the email. From here, you can change the password. And if you are a SaaS user, you will be able to see the billing option in which you will be able to add your card. You will be able to select the plan and accordingly, your details will be visible in terms of invoices and everything. Now we have the project theme. In this, the whole look and feel of your platform or your company is bluish in color. You can just toggle and all of the look and feel of your uh, customer facing application, website, then the driver panel and so on will be updated automatically. So now as you can see, I have toggled it on blue in color. So now the whole look and feel of the platform will be bluish. From this section, you will be able to change the admin logos, the customer application logos, sign in activities and everything. So every image that you upload will be reflected on the user interface directly so that you do not need to update the images from the backend. It's just you can click, you can upload the image and you're good to go. Now at the bottom, you can add your splash screens as well, which will be visible before the login or sign up pages. Now we have the project documents. Once um, your merchant is being onboarded through the sign up link, you, what you can do is you can add various documents which the merchant will be needing to provide to you so that the admin can verify the merchants. You can add more documents as well. What will be their use? So if I would be needing their passport and photo ID, so I can add that. I can add it. I need a photo for front, front and back. I'll enter the expiry date. So once the merchant is added, they will be needing to upload these documents. Now we have the SEO function in which you just need to enter the API keys, Google Play Store IDs, app IDs, social login pages, and automatically you can market your own product. Now we have the customer settings in which you want to provide the customer. The method of sign up should be email, 
or phone number or both so from here you can do it directly with a single go now we have the manage features here we are integrated with multiple payment gateways so you just need to toggle on enter the api keys and automatically the payment gateways will be reflected likewise for the sms gateways and other third party gateways now i'll quickly show you the driver panel This is the driver dashboard in which you will be able to see all the drivers which are online, offline, which have ongoing orders under the dashboard. Now under the driver section, you will be able to see the driver listing in which how many rides they have completed, how many accepted, cancelled, ongoing or completed rides are being there, what's the amount in their wallet and you can edit them as well. So these would be the details for the driver. Now you can see their documents which they have uploaded at the time of sign up which the admin needs to approve. You can toggle between pending and approved drivers as well. You can again import or export the drivers in a single go. Here in the driver panel as well you have instant listing for the orders. If you go to the settings we have again the app images for the driver and the driver app introduction which should be the splash screens then the documents which you will be adding and then the SEO management in the driver application then the driver booking mode whether it will be manual or online then we have the manage integrations then we have the webhook management method as well in which you can send various notifications now you have the auto assignment management in which you can book a request time in seconds driver radius what should be the driver radius booking cancellation time in seconds then you can again enter the google api keys directly for marketing purposes and you can generate the driver token as well this was all for the grocery delivery for on-demand grocery delivery thank you that was all about the grocery delivery admin panel as you can see it is extremely simple to use. So if you plan to launch your own grocery delivery platform, I recommend that you click on the link in the description and assist us in getting this panel ready for you. You can also email us at sales at the rate .com or DM us on our social media accounts. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and press the bell icon to stay up to date on the new videos. Thank you.